Our next guest is a well-known lecturer and author and best-selling book, uh, author of the best-selling book, Metropolitan Life. Here's Fran Leibowitz, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Fran. How are you? Nice of you to be here. It is nice of you to be here. You are a, uh, a lecturer. You do that for a living? Yes, I do that instead of writing. Where do you, where did one, where would one go to hear you lecture? Uh, one would go to college. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but I, the, what you really want to do is not so much do colleges because they don't pay so well as you like to do conventions. Conve you actually go to a lecture uh, at conventions? Huh? I've recently returned from the CPAs of Pennsylvania convention oh, in Boca Raton. There's a fun group, huh? Right, where I am. Um, <laughs> and I just did the wives. Oh, I see. As the man explained to me, uh, well, for the men at night, we're having the amazing Kreskin, but the wives <laughs> like culture. <laughs> Uh, but uh, you do some mind reading also, don't you? Make things disappear in your act, keep things lively. I would guess that you're... I've been forks. You, <laughs> I would guess that your, uh, your lectures take place during the day? Uh, this one did. This was a breakfast, yeah. a breakfast reading. And how long do you go with one of these? Uh, about, depends how much they pay. <laughs> uh, by let, the minute. By the minute. What, uh, you are a native New Yorker, I'm guessing? Uh, well, from New Jersey. From New Jersey, close enough. This is, this is the question that I have loathed uh, for years and years uh, when someone asks someone like yourself, which do you prefer, uh, California or New York? But I'm going to ask it nonetheless. You, mean, you actually ask that question, which do you prefer? Yeah, it comes up often around my house. Oh, um, I prefer New York. Yeah, now why would That's that... That's putting be? it mildly. <laughs> Uh, now, why would that be, just generally? Uh, well, generally I can't say, but specifically I can say that as a writer, um, to be in a state where the main prose style is apparent only on license plates yes. is disconcerting. Yeah, it is. Uh, they, I don't know that that's in every state, but in Los Angeles it's a big hobby. You, in fact, you can actually see cars forming sentences when you're on the freeway, you know, people it's, with it's, words. It's the primary form of literature. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what about uh, children? Do you have, do you have any desire? Do uh, you like kids? Um, you were one, I'm guessing. I was myself a child mm -hmm. for about 27 years. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I liked it. It was a good uh -huh. job, but I kept being a child. Um, I have no children of my own. I have several godchildren. Uh -huh. uh, I'm, I'm rather fond of children. Adults, I'm not crazy about. Yeah, yeah. Children, I like. Yeah, that's the problem with kids is they're great while they're children, but eventually they grow up and become annoying. That's true. <laughs> this is not, uh, not well, I guess it's specific or general again. Um, do you live uh, here in a uh, apartment? Do you own a home somewhere? No, I don't own a home somewhere. I live in an apartment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would like to own a home somewhere. Yeah, it would here. be nice. You would like to own one here? I would like to. Yeah, well, that take, would take care of both points. Um, <laughs> what about the... audience is pretty much self-entertaining, aren't they? Uh, we're, we're coming back here uh, with Fran Leibowitz and uh, this television program and uh, most everything else in life will continue in a couple of minutes after you take a look at this. Fran Leibowitz is here this morning and we were uh, discussing, among other things, we were about to include in that uh, conversation, uh, mail. Now, I get mail and I just uh, generally don't read it. The good and the bad upsets me equally. How do you react to mail? I read all of it by answering none of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why I don't answer hate mail, nor do I answer. Do you get mail. a genuine hate mail? I get very genuine hate mail. Yes. <laughs> I get um, physically threatening mail. You've actually done, had had that happen, huh? Yes. I seem to um, be very popular amongst uh, convicted felons, <laughs> prisoners. I, it seems to me from my mail that people in prison mostly watch television. Uh huh. You know, people out of prison mostly watch television, so I don't understand why you have prisons <laughs> really. um, at all. But, you could uh, just sentence someone to stay home and watch TV right, all day. Stay yeah. and watch television. They do anyway. Yeah. And then we wouldn't have to pay for them to, yeah. to do yeah. that. Um, but I don't answer any of my mail. The worst uh, avalanche of paint mail I ever received was I wrote a piece for Newsweek about teenagers. And uh, apparently this was assigned to many high school classes across the nation to read. Their homework was to write me a letter. Mm -hmm. Um, what was your stand on uh, teenagers in the piece? Um, generally, um, I'm not really crazy about teenagers. <laughs> I must say, I didn't even like teenagers when I was a teenager, yeah, yeah. In including myself. Uh -huh. um, I have a theory about teenagers, was that uh, teenagers 
main intent in life seems to be to annoy those around them. <laughs> so I feel that one of the less populous states, like Wyoming, should be cleared of all adults and all teenagers should move into the state. <laughs> this and it should be just a teen state. Yeah. <laughs> um, in which case they could all, you know, wear dark glasses at breakfast and annoy each other. Uh -huh. And this would begin, I guess, when they're 13, 13 through 19, huh? through 19, and then they have to go to work. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, that's pretty much, uh, pretty much what college is, isn't it? It's like a, a small Montana where they get together and annoy people. But you have to pay for that, you see. Yeah, that's true. Um, what about, um, have you ever gone into therapy or self-help or any of that sort of thing? No, no. I've gone to self-help, which to me is working. Mm -hmm. But any, where people with uh, uh, similar disturbances get together for help? Unfortunately, there are no people with similar disturbances. So <laughs> I haven't been able to form a group. Yeah. You know, since I guess my main, um, one, I have two main activities in life, smoking and plotting revenge. <laughs> <laughs> you don't really need a group no. for that. I could plot by myself, uh -huh. revenge. Sometimes uh -huh. I use the phone, but yeah. um, I don't really, uh, not much group type person. Yeah. But the smoking is then, I guess, your you so hobby. hobby. Yeah, that's I great. If not my profession. Uh -huh. That's good advice so, for any teenagers looking in today, too. Right. I, <laughs> I, in fact, in my piece, suggested that teenagers uh, smoke as a substitute for sex. <laughs> uh, more wonderful advice. Uh, <laughs> the book is uh, Metropolitan Life. You have a new book coming? Uh, uh, in March. In March, which will uh, be called? Social Studies. Social Studies. Fran Leibowitz. We'll be back with Edwin Newman and an NBC News update right after this.